All right, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have a lot of uh, awesome memories, maybe bad memories, good memories, you know, great memories. Um, those memories are made from you talking to somebody else, you know, you being interactive with the other person, and, you know, not being on your phone, paying attention. Um, bringing that to my quote, uh, I have a quote here from An Affair to Remember. Winter must be cold for those with no warm memories. That quote truly resonated with me because um, I'm sure like a lot of you, you know, we're on our phones most of the time, we're not paying attention to the guy next to us or in front of us. And, um, you know, if you stop and think about all those memories that you have, the good memories, put aside the bad ones real quick, but the good memories that you guys have, it's with family, friends, your loved ones, and you made that memory by talking to them, by interacting with them, by socializing with them, by, you know, getting, you know, back and forth with them, whatever it may be, and not by, you know, you being on your phone in front of them. And, and truly, I think that this quote, if you take it to heart, you can really notice a lot about yourself, like how you're hindering this for your own self by, you know, number one being technology. Technology uh, truly hinders this for uh, ourselves because, you know, you have your, your phones, your tablets, your computers, you know, you have somebody sit there and talk to you and you're on your phone and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm listening, but you're not actually listening, you know what I mean? So that truly pushes aside those memories that you could make that, because memories are going to last forever. That phone, you're getting a new one next year, you know, someone's <laughs> switching it up. But uh, that memory you could have made, you wasted. That time is gone. You don't get time back. So those memories are important versus that technology. Um, the other thing that, you know, is really hindering this one is going to be social media. You know, you could get on your phone and use Snapchat, Instagram, or text your friends, your best friends, your loved ones, whatever it may be, instead of, you know, let me talk to you. Let me, let me, let me you know, have a conversation with you. Let's, you know, you're at dinner. Me personally, I've, I've you know, I'm, you know, I'm at fault for this sometimes. I'll be at dinner with family or friends or whatever it may be, and... <laughs> You know, we're all eating, we're having a conversation, and somebody will bring up a funny story, and you know what, I'm going to miss that because I was on my phone or something, or I wasn't paying attention, or, you know, I was just texting. And, you know, being at that dining, being sitting with my family or friends or whoever it may be, you could make more warm memories versus being on your phone, versus not paying attention to them, versus, you know, whatever the case may be that's distracting you. So, you know, truly those warm memories, you know, they'll be great for you, you know, to look, look uh, back on five, ten years from now. Hey, you remember this? Remember this? You're not gonna have those if you're on your phone or not paying attention. So, and truly, this one, this quote really hit me hard on that one because, you know, like I said, I'm at fault for that a lot. I'm on my phone. You know, someone's talking to me. I'm listening to you, but I'm not listening to you, sort of thing. Um, so, to sum it up, just uh, you know, what I want you guys to take away from it is just, you know, really be, you know, interactive with someone. You're, you're talking to them. Talk to them. You know what I mean? Put the phone aside. Put the technology aside. Listen to them, what they have to hear. Because uh, that's where you're going to make the most out of that conversation. All right. Thanks. Keep the topic. That's your souvenir for the day. All right, well, the sharing experience that you had at the beginning about memories was fine. Uh, there was a good transition to your quote, uh, so that was good. I thought you uh, made it pretty clear what your point of view was. There's not really a preview of a supporting structure, in part because there's not really a supporting structure. You've got one idea, and you just keep developing that same idea. You get a little bit more detail as you go along. Uh, so I, it's not like there's a clear division of what's going on, but you've got a good illustration that you manage to have a lot to say about. About. So that, I think, works pretty effectively. It would be nice if you could find some other ways to illustrate the same point that you're making, uh, but like I said, because you had good detail on the one example, I think it's uh, more than passable. The presentation things, uh, your voice projects well. There's a lot of inflection in when you're speaking to us. I think that that's really effective. I thought your gestures are great. Uh, you're engaged. You seem like you are 
you're enthusiastic, there are some good indicators where you're speaking. Your body movement is a little narrow. It, basically, you're facing forward the whole time, and that's a good thing, but don't forget that there are different corners of the room, and sometimes you might want to swivel at the hips a little bit or change the orientation of your feet so your focus is in different parts of the room, not just right in the center where the camera is and where I'm sitting. Uh, you know, engage other people. Because then what hap ends up happening is the one thing about your eye contact that's a little bit problematic is even though you're looking at everybody, it's all diverted gazes for people in the corners. And you know, I'm getting I'm getting full focus, which is okay for me, but everybody else feels like secondhand rows by comparison, and you don't want to leave them in that situation. All right, thank you.